Hey guys, and welcome back to another video here with Crafty Mama. Um, if you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do today is we are going to, or I'm going to show you guys how I design um, certain t-shirts in Canva and then transfer them to my um, Cricut Design Space to cut them in vinyl. Um, and some of the craft groups that I'm in, I did upload a, a picture of a t-shirt that I did where it was, um, it was, um, it said we made America great with the black raised fist and then, um, the red and green flag. So I'm going to show you guys how I did that. Um, and then I designed that in Canva and then I transferred it to Cricut. So that's what we're going to do today. That whole thing was um, vinyl. So if you guys would like to learn how to do that, go ahead and stick around. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right into it. Um, so the first thing I did is I'm starting off on a blank canvas here. Now I want my t-shirt to be white, so I'm going to use a white canvas. That's just going to... Um, as far as like the colors and how it's going to look on a white t-shirt, whatever color your t-shirt is going to be, that's what color you want your background canvas color to be. So um, I did it on a white shirt. So we're going to go ahead and do it on a white canvas. Um, now, the first thing that I did was the flag lines. I went into my elements here and I searched a white paintbrush or white brush stroke already right here. And I just picked one that was um, kind of skinnier. I'm pretty sure this is the one that I went with. Um, and make sure you pick one. And this is a pro one, so um, a pro brush stroke. So um, you wouldn't be able to access this in Canva. If you wanted to Google a brush, if you're using the free version and you wanted to Google a brush stroke, and then upload it and remove the background. Um, you can do that if you're in the um, pro version. Um, you can just pick one that they have. This is the one that I used. And then I changed the color of it to red, even though I'm using vinyl. So the vinyl, you know, it's going to cut whatever color I load into the um, machine. But And then we're going to duplicate that again. And now we're just, these are the lines for the flag that I'm creating. And then here's where I'm going to make it smaller. Because you're going to add your green stars here. And duplicate it and duplicate it. And you wanna make sure all your lines are lined up as neatly as you can get them. And then I went up here to my elements again and I typed in green star, or I think I just typed in star. And then I just picked one, this one, and I changed the color to green, even though again, the color is going to be whatever color, because this is vinyl, it's going to be whatever color you load into your Cricut machine. Duplicate. Duplicate. And duplicate. And then I'm going to group these together and I'm going to duplicate the rows. I'm just playing around with it, making sure it looks how I want it to. I want to add another star on the end. So I'm going to duplicate this. Duplicate. 
and you can play around with it and make it however you know if you want to change the colors and do different colors however you want to do it okay and then you can you can either stop here and then just download this um, for me the font that I used um, I did not have it uploaded in um, Cricut already I only had it in I have it uploaded in Canva so I just went ahead and made my words in Canva and then um, uploaded it and then it just says we made America great I'm gonna make the space in between the words a little bit smaller and then I'm going to change it to the font that I had okay and here I'm not going to add the black fist because that's an SVG file um, I already have it uploaded to my Cricut um, and it's already saved on my computer as well. So I'm not going to add it to this picture. Now, um, I did add it to the picture when I made my mock-up for just, you know, just for mock-up purposes. But to get it into Cricut Design Space, I'm just going to stop here. Now I'm going to go up here to download. Click the download button. And I'm going to save it as a PNG with a transparent background. And then I'm going to download it and I'm going to save it and I'll just leave it at, at that. We made America great. And then I'm going to go to my Cricut and I'm going to click. Now I'm in Cricut Design Space. Um, this is my blank canvas. Upload. I'm going to go to upload an image. Browse. And then I'm going to find the We Made America Great file I just saved, which is right here. I'm going to click Complex. Now, this is the way that I do it. Um, and you see how because we downloaded it with a transparent background, we don't have any white to have to remove. It's already gone. So the only thing I'm going to do is erase. I'm going to make three separate pieces. When I cut it, I'm going to be cutting it with red vinyl, green vinyl, and black vinyl. So obviously I'm going to need three separate pieces. So in order for me to do this, I'm just going to, I would have to upload this image three separate times um, and erase what I don't need. Um, this is just the way that I do it. Um, you know, there may be an easier way, or if you wanted to just sublimate this, you absolutely could do that too. Um, I still don't have my sublimation equipment um, set up yet. So I, I just erased the red and the green and I have my text here. And then I'm gonna go to upload an image again, browse. I'm gonna upload the same image. Oops, that's not it. Complex, continue. And I'm going to, I already use this, so now I'm going to erase this and I'll erase the green stars. And this is to get my red stripes. I'm going to click continue, save. Now that's another file, upload an image and we're going to do it one last time. Open complex continue and then now we just need the green star so I'm going to erase the text and the red stripes Continue and save. Now you have your three separate pieces. I'm going to upload all three of these. Insert images. And we're going to, 
that's going to be a cut file. This is going to be a cut file. And this is going to be a cut file. Now we have our three separate pieces. So you now you would just line it up the way that you want. I select all of it. Um, I wear an extra large. I think for an extra large, I may have made it like a 10 and a half is what I cut the whole image out to be. And then make it. And then of course, if you're using HTV, you're gonna mirror it and then you're gonna cut it and then you're gonna put it on your um, shirt with your heat presser, your, your easy presser, your iron, however you apply it. Um, but now you have your lines inside of your Cricut Design Space and your stars. And it's, it, you know, you don't have to just do the regular lines that um, Canva has. But that's how, that's how I do it. I don't do this for um, all the shirts. If it can be designed in Canva, I will design it in Canva. Uh, I'm sorry, in Cricut. If it can be designed in Cricut Design Space, I will to save myself some steps. But if it's something where it's, you know, like this, where I want the flag lines to be detailed like this, um, obviously I can't do this in Canva. So I just create the design and then upload it and um, erase the different parts and just upload the three separate files after I've erased each part. Um, this is kind of the way that I've been doing it. I'm sure there's a way, like um, a couple people have asked me to, you know, turn this into an SVG file and sell it. And I'm, I'm really considering learning how to do that. I don't know how to do that as of yet. Um, I may be selling stuff like this on my Etsy page, um, like the designs that I come up with. But for now, this is how I do it. Um, and that's how I made that um, shirt. If you're here from the craft groups that um, I'm in and you've seen me upload this picture, that's how I made it. Okay, if you guys have any questions, comments, and concerns, go ahead and drop a comment down below and I'll get that answered for you. Um, if you have any other video ideas that you want me to do, please let me know. Um, I'm still waiting. I tried to convert my sublimation printer the other day and I somehow broke my printer, so I had to order another one. Um, so I'm waiting on that. That's supposed to be here next week. As soon as I get my sublimation stuff up and running, I'm going to be doing sublimation videos and, you know, things like that. I have a lot of different things I want to do and sublimate, and I'll be showing you guys how I do everything. Um, but for now, if you have any other questions or video ideas, let me know and I'll try to get that uploaded for you. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you so much guys for watching. I hope everybody's staying safe. All right. Bye.